Good afternoon. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And we're talking about the... No, Nick? <laughs> Nick, you're dumb, dude. <laughs> I'm not saying Sopranos <laughs> for fucking 86 times. Bad enough I got of, sitting of here. Of all the things I thought that was going to happen right now, that was not it. I kind of <laughs> thought that's where he was headed. Wow. Either that or he was doing a Chris Webber and calling a timeout. I don't know where that was going. Well, welcome to Random Ramblings, everybody. I'm talking about the Sopranos. Get the fuck off my face, fly. Sopranos, season one, episodes three and four. I don't remember the names of them. Uh, Denial, Angler, Acceptance, and Meadowlands. Yes. Yeah. They were really good. I remembered both of these episodes very well. Yeah, me too. More than I thought I would. After watching the first two, I was like, fuck, I'm not going to remember any of this. And then I remember those, like everything that happened in the past two episodes. Do you, do you remember them? Like, as you watch them? Yeah, vaguely. Like, it, uh, nothing like, I'm like, oh, fuck, like, but yeah, a little bit. I, I, I wish I knew the last time I watched it, because it's been a With long me. time. What, that's been a long time. Yeah. But before before, I before we started Game of Thrones, I doubt you've been watching The Sopranos since then. I could have. but it was Because it was around season three of Game of Thrones when I started that, so it was before <laughs> that that we watched The Sopranos. All right, so the episode three. So it starts off with Christopher and Brendan returning the truck to... Uh, Calmly, I guess is the name yeah. of the company. Yeah, they show up there and the guys walk out like, what the fuck's going on? They shoot a couple times up in the air and then they're like, hey, they're the guys that killed What's-His-Face. Yeah. It's it, it's a gift from Tony Soprano. Yeah. They just don't know when to shut the fuck up. No, they're fucking annoying as hell. Yeah, I was, I'm, yeah. as like weird I mean, as it is, I'm glad that Britton died just because I'm sick of him. I was sick of him Spoiler. after like two episodes. Yeah, no, me too. I was yeah. two, I mean, two if you're, wa- you're supposed to watch this with but us. But if you would have asked me um, how long that fucker lived, like before we started, I would have said longer than three episodes. Yeah, I would have thought so <laughs> yeah. too. And then once this one started and they start, like things started going, I was like, oh yeah, he gets shot at the end of this yeah. one. But yeah. I, I, thought, I thought he was kind of like annoying for most of the season and then got killed. For like last week, I thought that. Yeah, me too. Me too. I guess his strong annoyance just made him seem like he lasts longer. Yeah. Jackie's in the hospital, and Tony talks it. Poor, poor Jackie, huh? Yeah, he's fucked up, isn't he? Like, but not now. But he he he, he decelerates very quickly. I yeah, like when when we, when we first see him, he seems like you're like, oh, this guy might make it. Yeah, until he. And then I, I swear it's Tony's fault because he's like he has every hair in his head and starts going off about all this stuff about him and like blah blah blah. Next scene you see him, he's like dead. Yeah, so they're visiting him, um, and that's when Silvio brings up, "Hey, there's this guy named Titleman. He's got this son and a daughter, or, and the daughter wants a divorce, but you know he won't allow it." Um, and and Hesh, not Hesh, goes. <laughs> Yeah, stay away from those motherfuckers. Yeah, leave, leave them alone. Yeah. So I, I got a question about those guys. Yeah. And it has really nothing to do with the show. Why do Jewish people like that have those hair going down like that? Well, like, what's the reasoning for that? I have no idea. Do you know, Hess? <laughs> I don't. All right, let me ask Siri. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, Siri. Why do Jewish people do their hair the way they do? <laughs> okay. I found this on the web for why do Jewish oh. people do their hair the way they do. Check it out. Hmm. Looks like it's not as stupid as you thought it was, was he? Did you? Was I? Was it? What? What does it say? Yeah. Hold on. It's uh, needing my face oh. to load the website. <laughs> Maybe it's on Shabad.com. They're called Shabad? long long side locks. It said uh, uh, shut up. Uh, um. There's, there's this a, is great. There's a lot of words here. <laughs> great, <laughs> Hold on. Great, uh, great. It's an <laughs> article. <laughs> yeah, it's a, I'm trying to. It says. I, mean, um, I don't know. <laughs> great. Maybe you can report back next week. And they're never in it again. It j- yeah, that that's your homework for the week. You that's how we'll start next week's podcast. It says it's it's for for some of them it's forbidden to cut. But it seems like I don't know. I, Someone knows. Comment down below because I was reading that and I didn't get it. Huh. It's funny that you look it up. She gives you a thing and you still can't figure it out. Well, you look it up, fuckface, and see what I you get. I don't care. Oh, you care? No, not really. Uh, so sorry. I'm trying to make an entertaining podcast. You're trying to give people the information. You just want to run through the episode, and get it done. 
I'm trying mm-hmm. to shed some light on the Jewish community here. But you're not shedding any light. I shed some light. You now, read an now article to yourself. Now it's someone else's job to do it for me and <laughs> give me the right I answer. I don't think I didn't hear an article being read. I heard. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of right, words. You want to hear an article being read? <laughs> no. I, can, I can have my phone read the article if you want. No. Let's not. No. Let's not. Let's not. No, you're. No. Careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. I didn't as a wish as a wise lady said, once I said. I didn't hear an article being read. I heard. Uh, There's a lot of words. You know, there was a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't read it unless it's a comic. <laughs> <laughs> Simmer down now. Simmer down. You can go on with your fucking Sopranos. Like, just trying to I, ask hey, some questions here. Hey, hey, take it easy, huh? Oh, look at this guy. He must have just got done watching The Sopranos. <laughs> Apparently. According to has his girlfriend, when he gets done watching the episodes, he starts talking like Tony Soprano around his house. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 we need, I need what her. To, I need her to secretly record <clears throat> me walking around. I mean, like, hey, you... yo, give me the eggs and bacon. Yeah, talk like that, huh? Yeah. Jesus. Ah, right, it's a, it's a, a fucking, sausage. Uh, give me some meat, the balls. What is a fucking bleaker, huh? You <laughs> son of a bitch. See, that doesn't even. I, does Tony talk like that though? I guess he does a little. He, he bit. does a little bit when he starts going yeah. off on people. Yeah. Yeah, because it's. I mean, that's more like just generic mobster, but like yeah, yeah. Hess is kind of a generic mobster. If you it's kind of like the. It's kind of like the website that Meadow shows the little. Oh fetch. god, that was terrible. Well, it was. Oh, that was funny it too. Was She's like, I'll, I'll print it out for you. She, no, I know, but she still, prints out like... three pages for him, <laughs> the ones that they were already looking at, and he looks at the last one in bed, and he's like, yeah, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. Yeah, and then he just like leaves it on his covers. Yeah, and rolls over. Well, I'm you. like, well. Hopefully, uh, Daddy already tucked you in there, huh, little right. Aunt Junior? What are they going to do? Come in and be like, oh my God, we're in the mafia? What's his... No, they're going to see and that. What, what's and up then with all their, he'll be what's sleeping up with the fish. names? Like, uh, they're they born that like way. A, they have like a catch a tour. There's a chicken catch a tour. Like, they have like these pasta names or chicken names and shit. Who? What, what are, are you talking about? There's a catch a tour in this episode. I think, uh, I can't, but she's like, hey, catch a tour or whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, that's a goddamn chicken yeah, dish. Yeah, cacciatore, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, that's an Italian chicken dish. <laughs> I didn't catch that at all. I don't think it was cacciatore, but it could have been. Yeah, 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 pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. There's cacciatore. one named spaghetti and one named ravioli. <laughs> and then this pizza guy comes walking <laughs> up, and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> and so you want to have some fucking sausage? <laughs> Shut up right up your fucking ass, you fucking cocksucking son of a bitch. I swear to God. I want to see how long to, it'd go. Yeah. I have to. I have to watch it. I should. I should just next time watch them, and then we'll come straight into the episode. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah, you should practice, and then by by the end of season one, like we'll go into season two. You'd be like, I told, hey. I told, uh, I told Jerome yesterday when we were playing Apex, uh, you weren't on. I said that I wanted to be Tony Soprano for Halloween, and he goes, Oh, what'd you say you could be? No, because then and then you said you want to be Tony Soprano, but Abby said you should be Hoder. Yeah, Abby wants. And to be I said I'll be Brand. <laughs> And I said Nick could be Arya. <laughs> yeah, we could all go around trick or treating. He's knocking on the door, going, "Hold the door, hold the door." Yeah, oh my God. playing would guitar do, in the street. Would you do it naked with your big cock hanging out like Hodor? That's how he did it. And I go, "Oh, Hodor." I feel like that would be uh, frowned upon, but well, it depends on what neighborhood you're in. Yeah, I mean, pretty much any, but you know, just, not just, my neighborhood. There's just kids around. No big deal. Wow. All right, so Meadow, Meadow uh, loses her mark in the little uh, concert practice that she's doing. Oh, yeah, and then, like, well, it's not our fault that we have to take the test the same day or whatever. <coughs> and the teacher's like, yeah, but it's the same week. And, like, no, same day. Yeah. What? And they're like, fine, we'll just go get some meth and study. Yeah, that doesn't seem... That seems like a big jump. Like, yeah. I feel like yeah. most kids are like, oh, like, get Adderall or just stay up or whatever, do something else. They're like, ah. you know what? Let's do meth. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty big... Uh... Pretty big jump. I like how too, like, like, like they don't ever call it meth. She did in no. the second episode. Did she? Yeah. She called like, it. I, I thought she just called it. Well, yeah, but well, I mean, because it was before it was like Chris really kept big. It speed. Yeah, well, because when she they're in the car with Chris, because there's no, there's meth. like there's no blue meth at this point. That's what I was thinking of though. I thought, oh, she should have went to Heisenberg. Yeah, that'll come Not in. Right yeah, she she went. Yet. Tight, tight, tight. That'll, yeah. That'll probably that'll probably be in the movie when it comes. Oh, out. Oh, maybe. I got a little secret for you at the end. Um, He's going to pull his cock out and smack the table. Go, hold it'll, her. it'll break it the table in half. Hold the door. Yeah, hold the dick. Um, hold my dick. Hold my oh, dick. do you think they've done like a porno of that where the guy comes out and he's like, 
brown. Hold the dick. Hold the dick. And then like a girl brand comes up. No. You don't think so? No. He started it. No, I didn't. You started it. Uh, so Tony and Carmela go to Artie and Charmaine's house. Um, they're like superficial, nice. Well, Carmela is a nice, but she's faking. Yeah. Then Tony oh, yeah. actually is nice to the guy because he feels bad for him. Yeah. And, and do you think he's complained ab- enough about his fucking restaurant burning down yet? No, no Tony no, got no. a little sick of that by the end. Yeah. But yeah, he was, he just kept saying he's like yeah, and then like he, that guy said last week he ruined it for the guy. And then like we thought he was well, gonna get insurance, and he's like no, I can't even get that there. And it. And it's funny that he like throws a piece of bacon at Tony Soprano. Yeah. Well, and it's like you gotta feel pretty comfortable being around Tony fucking Soprano to throw a piece of bacon at his ass. Um Yeah. I, mean, I, I realize they're friends, but it's like no, Jesus I was, Christ. When I watched it this time and he fucking throws it at him and hits him in the face and the fact that it sticks on his face is fucking funny. Yeah. But I'm every time I'm like, Oh shit. And then yeah. he looks at him like, You motherfucker. <laughs> But every time, and even though nothing happens from it, I yeah. still think, holy shit, he just fucking did that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's only been, you know, two episodes or three episodes, and, like, the, I mean, he's Tony Soprano. Like, yeah. they build him up. He's Tony Soprano. The last episode, he gets the fucking table right away when they go into the restaurant. Yeah. He gets the table he for beat up that for guy Dr. outside. You see him beat up another guy in you this know? one. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was it was pretty funny. So Tony meets with Titleman and his son. His son was a hundred percent right. Yeah. He said, Don't get into business with them. You'll create a golem. Uh yeah. I like when he called him then. He goes, What's that? Like a Frankenstein's monster, and then he gets pissed, punches the wall and tells his Yeah, he's holding him like, hold I'm up called Frankenstein today. <laughs> he's holding him up against the thing. He's like, My son was right. You're a golem. He turns to Sylvia and goes, What the fuck's a golem? What the fuck's a golem? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, then Silvio and, uh, Polly pay a visit to Ariel, which is an, is that guy a mermaid? Mermaid? I think so, yeah. Uh, he's gonna meet this really fat octopus, and he's gonna see this guy and want to become human. He, he seems like a big dick wagon, too, but. But see, we don't know his side of the story. From his side of the story, it sounded like he built the business. He built everything. And and then then the wife wants to leave, and then he's like, well, that's not, that's bullshit. Yeah. Right. And you kept thinking that you're like, oh well, look. and you're like, oh no, they don't care. They're just, their job just to make that guy get the divorce, and then they're out of there. They have no interest in this guy. Yeah, totally. Uh, and then Carmel hires the Bucos to uh, do their little party, and then Meadow goes to Christopher's for some math. Yeah. Well, in between that too, she's uh, they have loud music playing in her bedroom, and yeah, Tony's yeah. like, what the fuck? And keeps banging on the door. We need, we're trying to score some meth, Dad. Yeah, come on, be what reasonable. It was yeah. so it was so funny. They're on the phone and they're like, eh, "Come on, Chad," or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You didn't get enough for us. That fucking dickhead get using all the meth for himself. Yeah. And then uh, Tony gets a stripper for Jackie. Yeah, that was funny. Did you know that right away? Did you remember? Yeah, that? I rem- yeah, I remember that. I like it when she like I lost my nurse's pen. First of all, isn't that just a pen? No, yeah. that's a spe- <laughs> it only works if you're a nurse. And then she reaches in, and he's like, whoa, that's not hey. your pen. That's my cock. You know, this seems to work. Yeah. And then I also like it when the real nurse comes in, and he's like, hey, honey, did you get away from here? Yeah. Like, oh, this is a private party. Nothing to do here. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Um, and then Tony asks Dr. Melf- Melfi, after he tells her that he got the stripper and stuff, what he thinks of Jackie's situation. Yeah, when she tells him, too, he's like, what the fuck do you know? And starts yelling at her. And doesn't he leave then? Yeah, I think he just gets up and leaves. Yeah. I, t- I, told him, I told was him. Was it this he... episode that he was talking about the fucking barn painting? Or was that next Yeah. Episode? Yeah, that was this one. I think, yeah. isn't it like how it opens or whatever? Yeah. And he's like, what does that mean? It's rotting, blah, blah, blah. And like going off on her. And she's like, it's just a painting. Yeah. He goes, I knew that painting was a scam. <laughs> so funny. It is. It's funny how tactical and how smart he can be, but then stuff like that. It's like it's because he thinks people are always trying to get him. Yeah, well, it's the, I would think, I would assume it's the mafia mob mentality. Yeah, you gotta have a little bit of paranoia, you know. Yeah, but you gotta have some, but it'll it'll fuck you up yeah, in the end it, too. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, at the party when they're all having a good time. <clears throat> Carmella motion. Yeah, that's it. So I told <laughs> that's what I told Drum how I'm gonna call him from now on. Carmella? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if we're at the gym or something, be like 
I won't come to you. I'll what be th- like her and I'll look at you and be like, what the fuck? I like it because she did it to the to the uh, the maid or whatever. Yeah, she, oh, she's normally yeah. really good. And they, they made it a point to show you. Oh, yeah, they did. And the, yeah. And then when she yeah. did it to her, she's just like, bitch. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just another fucking one of your peons. And that's when Tony and Artie have the food fight. A little, yeah. Yeah, little she... animal house there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <clears throat> no, it, it's, I think it's next episode when she tells uh, Carmela that, or Tony. No, it's, no, it's this it's one. This, it's at, this it's one. at the end. Oh, yeah. It? Yeah. Okay. And she's like, oh, by the way, I fucked your husband. I, I don't know why she, I mean, that just seemed like. It was, she it's, be, it's, because, it's because she did this to her, so that she's like, oh, you're going to treat me like that? I fucked she, your it's, husband. It's because she says, oh, yeah, you think you're better than me? I could have done, I could be where you're at. I chose not yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. You know, I'd rather sit with this fucking guy who keeps bitching about his fucking restaurant burning down. Yeah. Fucking, pretty sure he divorced Squeeze Squeezing the quail! You're squeezing the quail! You just scared the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> Is that oysters? Did you notice in... When we were watching uh, Good Omens, yeah, at, at one oh, point, oh, that girl's going through was, oysters. Whatever, I was like, oh, I thought she was gonna do a yeah, whole hat. She didn't do, yeah, it wasn't the same three, but the first thing was oysters. Mm-hmm. Oysters, clams, and cockles. So then, then it cuts to Tony uh, trying to get a little action with his girlfriend. Yeah, and slams her in the bed, and then he gets a call, and I, it was right before he gets a call, whatever. He sees a painting in, in hers, oh, too, yeah. and it's a, like a ch- lonely chair at a beach. What's the, fuck, what's the painting mean to you? She's yeah. like, nothing. It just reminds nothing. me of the beach. I don't know. His girlfriend's a fucking... I don't like her at all. Really? Yeah. I don't. I, she hasn't even done anything yet, but... I don't remember ever minding her or not. I don't she know. just annoyed the fuck out of me, so even though she hasn't really done anything yet, it already annoys the fuck out of me. So, yeah, it's already there. Yeah. Sure. Um, <clears throat> so, when he gets there... I did like when the guy was like 900, whatever he called it, 900 Jews held back 15,000 Romans, and where are those Romans now? He's, and like, he's like, it's fucking us. <laughs> right, right here, asshole. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Uh, but then he calls Hash and is like, hey, and he's like, I told you. Yeah, he calls it. Hash and he's like, hey, I'm ready to do the podcast. He's like, I'll oh, give me five minutes. <laughs> uh, no. And he's like, you know, fucking cut his dick off, basically. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Pretty much. He's like, oh, he wants to live? Okay, give him the one thing he doesn't want to live without. I like when he gets up. He's like, "Hey, Silvio, get the bulk cutters." I like because Tony's so upset in that in that part, and the second he says it, he gets such a biggest smile on his face. Like, "Oh, cut his he dick like, off! Great idea!" He, he like gets all giddy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like when you. Yeah, do do me, you think that's what Ramsey was like when someone gave him that idea? He had that wow. same phone call. He uh, sent off a raven, got one back, and he's like, "Oh man!" Not, remember in the first episode when Christopher fucks up getting that guy and he has to chase him down in that car? Like when he's driving, he's fucking laughing his ass off. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty evil, but it's fun. It's like got a little boner. How do you know it's not a big boner? He's Tony Soprano. Yeah, he's got to have a huge cock. Yeah. I bet he could do the Ball Johnson. Maybe. So we we, we talked about it already. Charmaine drops the mic on Carmella, basically. Yeah. <coughs> yep. um, and then and then we all, we talked about this, too. Uh, so the Titleman doesn't want to give up his 25%. No. And yeah, like, eat a dick, bitch. You fucking shook on it. Yeah. And that, that's Tony kind of what Tony says to him. Yeah, we're doing, we're getting it with or without you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to give him fifteen percent? All right, cool. That comes off your end. Yeah. Need a dick. Yeah, basically. Uh, then then it shows Junior goes to Libya, and uh, he's basically asking permission to kill Christopher and Brendan. Yeah, and she was like, Christopher, you could use a good talking to Brendan. Christopher was like a son to me. Yeah. What does he say? She spit in my he he fucking did her cabinets <laughs> or something. What? He's, he spit my asshole. <laughs> hey, where were you going? He spit in me. Uh, I don't know why I said spit, but he put up my uh, storm drapes or, or, or spit in her. <laughs> storm drapes, not drapes, drapes. <laughs> Wait, storm what's, a, what's a storm drape? <laughs> it's a drape you know. put up when it's storming outside. You're like, wow, what I can't it? see the storm now. What is it to be on sale? When you're out in the water, don't don't. don't <laughs> what are you? Don't what are you stupid? <laughs> when, a, when a boat's out on sale. But they do that a lot. Like, at one point, um, he's Junior's bitching about Tony. He's like, ah, about his kid a four hundred dollars surfboard. Like, one has nothing to do with the other. Yeah, it's yeah. like they do that a it's lot. It's the stuff like that yeah. that reminds me of like Mima and them. That's like, like with with like getting in fights with us. Mm. That is, they, that's what the parts are reminding them a lot. I could see that because like, like, they bring up just random shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He's, he he put up the storm drains and. He's like a son to her. 
Yeah, but yeah. but Brandon. But he could. I don't know him. <laughs> he goes. And isn't yeah. that after that she goes, "I'm a terrible Sh- person," or "I'm just a Smug I'm just a stupid old lady," or something like that. He said, "You're pretty smart for an old lady," and no, I'm just a babbling idiot. That's why my son put me here. I, yeah. You know, I actually took a screenshot of that when she said, "I'm a babbling idiot." I meant to send it to you. Oh, that was just like for oh, your own part. It, I thought sometimes he's gonna be look at like, yeah, you are a babbling idiot. Well, he just she just put a hit out on two people, so is she a babbling idiot? Yeah, she is. See, I don't. I, no, she's not. She's just saying that she's like my son thinks I'm a babbling idiot. She. She's old, and I mean, there's pro- she needs help around the house, but she. Mm-hmm. Knows I think what she she's knows doing. it. Yeah, she knows, she knows what, what she's doing. doing. She does, but she's still a babbling idiot, in my opinion. Can't wait until she dies. Hopefully, she dies at some point. I think she. Well, lives everybody, to be everybody dies at some point. Yeah, we just this talked. Is true. Just ask the Night King. Wow. Does Bran die? No. But he's uh, not anybody. He's the Three-Eyed Raven. So, and then it it ends with. Uh, Meadow singing. Tony walks in. Tries, oh, yeah. Tries to hold Carmela's hand. And she's like, mm, wait, is over here? Okay. And then puts her hand back to normal. Yeah. And then at this, and he's like, what the fuck? I didn't even do anything. Yeah. He, for a quick, yeah. he's like, oh, whatever. Oh, he's like, oh, wait, I fucked Charmaine 20 years ago. Um, I don't think he said that. No, he was thinking. Mm. Um, and then at the same time, they take uh, Christopher out to the Meadowlands and make him shit his pants. Oh, is that why yeah. it's called in the Meadowlands? No, that's the second episode. Second one. Um, and then they go into Brendan's house and shoot him in, in the bathtub. And he goes, hi, Jack. Bye, Jack. I like, and shoots him yeah, in the eye. I like how, uh, what's the fucking, what's his uncle? uncle? Junior. Yeah, I like how he's, like, standing in the hallway. Like, yeah, he was, like, peeping in a moment. Like, I, I like, was surprised what? he was there. You That's know? what I mean. Like, yeah. I'm going, why is he even there? Like, you, I think you cause he hates the, he hates the he guy hates so fucker. much he wanted yeah, to watch yeah. him die. I guess. I did find it kind of gross that, like, even after Christopher finds him in the next episode, he goes, oh, he's, his brains are sitting in his bathtub. Like, fucker can't clean up. They don't have a cleaning service like John Wick. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's like, what the fuck? They just leave him there. I, she screams and shit. Um, there's an alternate ending that I came up with. Oh, is that your surprise? To yeah. To this episode. What is oh, it? Really? Meadow gets, like, hooked on meth. And then moves to Albuquerque. Oh, shit. Becomes Jesse's fucking girlfriend. And then Walt kills her. Whoa. And then Tony and then it gets <gasps> mixed up, and then Tony has to come to New Mexico oh. and fight Walt. And That'd it's like a... King Kong versus Godzilla. That'd be a great movie. Yeah. I'd see that. Who would you root for, Tony or... Uh, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> see, it, it, it depends <laughs> on what season. Because depending <laughs> on the season, I'll either hate Walt know. or Heisenberg. And I don't think I'll ever hate Tony. So I think it depends on the season if I would root for Walt or not. It depends. Like, if Jesse was helping... Meadow, because their boyfriend girlfriend, and was against Walt. I might have to help Tony. I feel like Tony would beat Walt, but I don't Probably. know. I, and he made that thing and killed all the Nazis. If he can take down the Nazis, I think he can maybe take down Tony Soprano. Yeah, maybe. It, but I think it does de- depending on who I'd root for. Is if if Jesse was like, I'm gonna be on Tony's side, I'd be like, oh fuck that, that's the best team up ever. But if he was helping Walt, I'd be like. Well, I need Walt to win because I don't want Jesse to I w- die. I was watching this episode and I go, "What? That'd be fucking cool." God, that's awesome. Yeah. That made this it podcast. Cool. Yeah. Take a little spinoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would the intro be? I have no idea. I got myself a gun. We're gonna mix all these songs together. That was horrible. It's doing that, but I got myself a gun. You can throw a soul in there, and maybe that's who's chasing. I don't know. I guess. Oh. Tony Soprano could be chasing him. Is chasing Saul. Yeah, I like that idea. Get the. Except it never happened. She went to college. Yeah. yeah. So she she could have done it after college. That's true. All right. So episode four, Meadowlands. It opens up with Tony dreaming. It was a fucking weird ass dream too. Yeah, it was oh, weird yeah. as fuck. Yeah, like fucking Melfi's there, and then he goes out, and everyone's like seeing him. AJ's peeking on him. Yeah. Uh, Hash walks by. Yeah. People are like fucking like, hey, girls and my stuff. Fucking friend, he just walked by. And then like, and then his his mom's there and, uh, as his therapist. Oh. Yeah, his mom and the wig was creepy as fuck. Yeah, it was like like straight out Psycho or something. Straight out Compton. No, different or similar. I'm a crazy mm. motherfucker named Tony Soprano. <laughs> well, so I feel like that's gonna be an eclipse somewhere. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm a crazy motherfucker named Tony Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> Worst rap song ever. <laughs> uh, I just finished his thought. That's uh, all. Um, <laughs> uh, and then 
Adriana picks up Christopher from the hospital, who's fucking lost his mind. Jesus yeah. Christ. Talk about being paranoid. <laughs> He's yeah. got the fucking big neck brace looking like a giraffe. So, he doesn't want to go to the car. So dumb. Because yeah, he, really, he really comes off as the type of person to wear that neck brace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I, I would want that thing off as quick as possible. Christopher, is it true that the nurse said that you made a BM? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. get the car. Well, at first, I'm like, a BM, and I'm like, oh, okay. Bow movement. Bacon and mayonnaise. Yeah. But at first, I'm going, why would they? I mean, it's just, it's not the type of show to be proper, in my opinion. Well, I think, well, she, I think I it's just because she, she didn't want to embarrass she, him. Yeah. She, I heard yeah. you shit your fucking pants, you idiot. Yeah. That's that would have been better. If, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be because I haven't usually, watched this. He usually is mistaken. In a, in a while. I think the shit in the pants comes up quite a bit. Oh, really? Oh, it, uh, this episode it comes up a couple times. I mean, like, season four, like, to be like, hey, remember that time you shit your oh. pants? Oh, really? Yeah. Wouldn't doubt it. But I, I could be completely wrong. Could be. Maybe I just remember it, because I just remember him laying there going, ah! It was awesome. Well, he, he like, his knees are all fucked up, and... They must have not showed that part because, like, you know, like they just grab him. Yeah, because I didn't. I told uh, I, just, I told Nick I didn't remember him like shitting his pants either on the dock. Well, I think yeah. what he, he was just scared shitless because like, they keep bringing it up. But, but like when they showed that scene, it didn't seem like anything happened. His hands are tied, and they just push him over. So and then once they just yeah. leave him there, and then I think that's why he was like. Ugh. See, I thought when he was yelling like that, he was like, oh, like that was like a he was scared, but like thank God he's alive. It could have been. I knew that after the fact, so like I already knew he shit his pants, so I knew that's why he was going because mm. he's like screaming like, oh, thank God, kind of a thing. And then, like, but then halfway through the yell, it's like a, ah. Uh. So, like, did those guys smell it? Like, did they go back and smell the shit? Like, they should have made like, a when, when he was yelling? I, I like, s- how did everybody find out that? And that's the nurses told the whole town. No, I think I think they say something as they're holding the gun to him. Yeah, they're like, you fucking stink or something. Yeah. Like oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are you there? It's just my cologne. Fuck off. Because then he's, like, laying in his shit it's when like they land. just in. fucking got out of the fucking Italian sausage. Fucking See, I don't, I don't think even a moment like that I could shit my pants. I don't know. You know, you can't say that until you've been in that situation. Until you've been in a mock execution, you can't say I don't that. think I would poop my pants, though. You might. If you really had to poop... Right. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I mean one, one so I like really you're on your way, you're on your way to poop, and they grab you. Yeah, but I mean, like, I... John's like, sorry, I can't go unless it's in my bathroom. I've held it. <laughs> I've held, like, bad diarrhea, like, throughout the entire day before. I don't think I would... Well, then maybe... I don't, I don't think normal turds would come out of my butt if I was a little scared. Maybe. I think he's more than a little scared. He thought he was going to die. I mean, yeah. he, he's in the mob. He should. Ex- I mean, if you're in the mob, somebody, like, you should expect a gun to your head this, every now and then. This is the same guy that if he goes to check the mail, he runs back in the house and someone drives by on a motorcycle. That's because they fucking chased me into the house on motorcycles before. People who don't know, just a quick story. I was coming <laughs> oh home from God. school. We my need, my yeah. sister's, people might not know, people, my sister's dog ran out the door. I grabbed the dog. A biker down the street goes, hey, you. And I go, me? What you gonna do? <laughs> and I ran back into the house with the dog, set the dog down, went pee, then looked out the door, or at the window, and the guy's pounding on the door, peeking through all the windows of the house and shit, calls up his wife or girlfriend, I don't know, some fucking bitch. She shows up with the truck in the driveway. They're peeking through all the stuff. They're here for like a half hour. I call him, you know what he says? What did he say? Answer the door. Yeah. I call Brian, you know what he says? Answer, answer the, the door. door. Everybody's just telling me to answer the fucking door when they're trying to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. Who do you think he's like, hey, do you know how to get to 7-Eleven? I need a Slurpee. Maybe. No, he wanted to fucking slam my ass. I don't understand why they were looking in the windows. They were trying to they find. They're trying to find me. He's in this room. They knew you were. You. They obviously <laughs> knew you were in there. Yeah. yeah. There's no one looking in the window. It wasn't like a. It, it was not like a Jesse Meth situation where they were like <laughs> banging on the door there's to tell me about God. Bushes in front of the window. No one. No one's looking through that. No, thing. they were. They were pushing. They were looking through. That's why I did this motion. They're looking through shit, trying to peek in here. And then like twenty Pikachu. after they left, Taylor came home and I was like. Were there bikers outside? She's like, no, you fucking She's retard. like, no. And I was like, they chased me in here. And she's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> no one believes me. It fucking happened, and it was terrifying. I don't know how many times I've heard that story. And you have like a hundred. And, and notice, time. notice nothing changes every story, so it's true. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying I didn't expect to hear the story again. That's well, all. people watching this might I not think, know. I think, hey, maybe you need to see a Dr. Melty about this. Yeah, story. I think you maybe. overreacted. Over a guy chased me from down the block into my house, and <laughs> people yeah. banging on the door. Well, what are you calling me for? 
What you're, am I going to do? You're I'm my, at work. You're my dad. I just came home from school. I'm like, hey, dad, um, someone's trying to murder me. And Call you're like, 911, dildo? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't want to bother them. <laughs> Some dude's wow. just begging. Like, he's not going to, if he came into the house, then I'd call the police, but he's just outside. It probably would have been too late if he came in the house. That's what they do in the movies. Well, I guess then they get killed and then the cops show up. Yeah. Yeah. Are we done with this? Wow, look, look at the fucking supportive father I live with here. Because you, you've, you've told that story bullshit. a hundred times, and I mean, I believe you about 20%. 20%? What do you think happened then? Oh, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> what do you think happened? I, th- I think you have a good imagination. The dude had a biker jacket on. It's hard to fucking misinterpret that. And you interpreted his jacket? I don't know words. So how, what, did it, what, what did you see on his jacket as you're running into the house? I didn't see it then. I just saw a big dude. Plus, he was down the street. I didn't see what he looked like. Oh, then. but you knew he, he had a, a big jacket dude. on. Let me fucking finish, cocksmoker. He was peeking through the windows, like I said. So, oh, you're like, nice so jacket. I saw him peeking through the windows, saw he had a black jacket, and on the on the back of it, he had like one of those little emblem things like s- stitched in there. Had some green like shit on of it. Anarchy? I don't know. Had some green shit on it. Was it Fonzie? No, he wasn't going. Like, hey. He wasn't going, hey, can I get a drink? I'm thirsty. He, right. he was look, looking through it. He had a mean mug on. I mean, Maybe you, he thought you stole his dog. That's what everyone tells me. But it ran out of my house. How did I steal? Plus, he's down the street. He saw me Plus run from Macy's the... Macy's dog. Just give it to him. It's a little rat. I'd feel bad. Chandler's still alive now. Because of me, I saved his... Oh, Chandler's my own. We need to make a device that can let dogs talk. So that way Chandler can back me up. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah. He could back me up. But yeah, I ran out of the house and back All right. chased him. Now we're going to talk about AJ. AJ got in a fight at school. Maybe. Um, what did you think about AJ's fight? The first one. I, I thought it was, it was kind of funny. He gets punched in the face. I think that's the first one. He gets punched in the face. Second one, he gets punched in the face. Uh, the second one, he's bleeding. Oh, first one ripped yeah. his shirt. Yeah. 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 And the guy goes, "It was it was a gay shirt. I was doing you a favor." Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, apparently, everyone wore shirts that were nine sizes too big. Back I know. I told him that guy with the giant ass shirt, yeah, the button did. up. I was like. You could just wrap it around him and knock him on the floor. Yeah. Baggy clothes were popular. Yeah. Apparently that was the style. Yeah. Oh, look. 30 minutes in and has freezes. Every fucking week. Uh, so Tony sees Silvio at the dentist's office when he's going he to see him. fucking Mel. freaks out and jumps into some random dude's office. Yeah. I like how the doctor's like, can I help you? And he like didn't even pay any, yeah, any attention. Sir? Sir, can I help you? Sir? And he's just walking out of the room. Yeah. And then he notices the dentist's office. And he, like, he so does she have like office. two offices then? I wonder, or is that is that the actual entrance to? It's probably the entrance to the because like she has that waiting room. It seemed weird uh, to go yeah, into okay. it that way. Yeah. I mean, I assume I don't know the well, cause, like, it architecture. Well, because I'm going. That's not fucking where he sits. Like he doesn't sit. There's no one else, you know. But I guess it makes sense. It yeah. seemed like a weird way to have the building, but it was a weird way. But I mean, it's probably they probably didn't think of that until they had to get him coming out of the office. Yeah, because like it seemed clear to me, they're like, oh, he's just going through here, and then he's going to a different set. Yeah, but they gotta have they because they are. Most of them have rooms to like. What's that movie? Oh, Tin Cup, where he walks in the wrong way. Oh, you probably. Is that the golf no. movie with Kevin Costner? Yes. Have you seen it? Long time ago. So he's in a galaxy far, far away. He walks in the wrong way, and the girl's like in the room crying. He's and it's the outer room where you where you leave from. It's not the waiting room. Right. So. If it has something like that, there would be more than one room that she has. Uh, um, so Christopher and Adriana pick up metal from school. That was nice of them. Yeah, and that one, I don't remember her friend's name, but her friend's like, oh, has Brennan said anything about me? Yeah, he said, oh, oh, oh. She's a fucking annoying. <laughs> She's a fucking That's one's her to die, too. You want everyone to die? Pretty much. I hope they all die. That's that's what I predict at the end of this. Wow. Yeah, that worked last time. You know, I'm starting to catch a theme with your show predictions. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see. Uh, you could just pull up Wikipedia and then make your prediction. Oh, boy. Can you imagine that? He's like, I think that and just reads the whole synopsis for like season two. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, fade to black. Um, the, so Tony meets with Livia at her little Green Grove apartment or whatever. Yeah, what does it bring her? Macaroons. Macaroons. And she's like, ah, It looks sweet. pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I was like, wow. They're too sweet. <laughs> Leave a couple for the crazies. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> fucking shit. Big ass Walmart. Jesus Christ. She's probably fucking. That's going to be another Hess bleep right there. 
That's like the <laughs> third or fourth we've done on this podcast. Wow. Sh- really? Comment down below what you think Hess has done. Sometimes we leave it in. Oh, what? Don't leave that in, please. No, I uh, won't. You, don't leave in what, what I say. I, I usually only edit it. When please, you, when do you, not leave in what I say. Whenever he says something and then he goes, oh, maybe you shouldn't put that in. I usually bleep it. <laughs> what else have I said this episode? No, not, not this, this episode. episode. On, oh, on Random you. Ramblings. It's usually, okay. some, it's usually somewhere like, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's my, that was my bad. <laughs> I mean, I just saw, I saw her face and that, eh, too sweet. <laughs> So yeah, after, yeah. after Olivia, he meets with Detective. I can't, I'm gonna fuck up his last name. It's that's a weird Copa, name. Copa Bianchi. <laughs> Is that really close? No, it's not even. Oh. It's not even similar. It's Macazan or Macazian. Oh, that's why he wanted the macaroons. Like Who is that guy, by the way? Question. Home Alone's dad. Very good for you. Yeah. There, he's dead also. In the uh, not. <laughs> no, he's not dead in the show. He's not. This isn't The Walking Dead. As, dead I, as I was saying that, I was like, I didn't know oh, he wow. died. When, yeah. When did he um, die? I don't know. Ask Siri. When John Hurd died. He hey really si- hey Siri. Like when did John Hurd die? John Hurd died July 21st, 2017 at age 72 in Palo Alto. Oh, 72. It's like two years ago, yeah. Wow, I didn't realize he was that old. I didn't know he was that old either. He really looked like, uh, he really played this part well. He, looks like <laughs> like he really looked like the Home Alone dude's sleaze, dad. B- sleaze ball cop, you know? No, yeah, totally. Yeah, even but, like yeah. his like skin and shit, like his hair, like he just looked messed up and like yeah. Yeah. like he was drunk and shit. Um, so he tells him to just tail Melfi, basically. Yeah, hey, I don't, I don't want her hurt or anything. Just, yeah. just her day to day, blah blah. blah. Instantly That's fucks that up. Yeah. So and then Christopher wants to kill Mikey, but Tony said no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, pulls out his gun in the hospital and all this shit. He's like, don't try to talk me out of it. He goes off on Tony a couple times this episode, and Tony's like gonna fucking kill him. And that first time, he lets it kind of slide because he just his friend just got killed and all yeah. this shit. But in the end, he's had enough. Usually, if something bad has happened to Tony's day, his, they should know by now. Like, let's not talk to Tony. They, like, when... Because later they, on... The other people know. Later on when Jackie dies, and then Christopher comes storming yeah, in. Yeah, walking in. Literally, they showed each one of them go, not now. Everyone's yeah. like, yeah, calm the <laughs> fuck down, and he yeah. just keeps on going. It's pretty funny. Um... And then, so, Tony goes and pays Junior a visit. On his way, he picks up a staple gun and staples a ticket to Mikey's yeah, he's, chest. he's waiting for the elevator, and he looks it. It looks over and sees that, and he just grabs it. I like to, after the whole scene, he wipes his prints off of it and throws it on the floor. Yeah. It's funny, because I really don't have, I mean, you don't really know too much about Mikey, but so far, I don't like him. He's one of those guys like that, just based off how he looks, yeah. I'm like, I hate that guy. He's yeah. in one of the best episodes this season. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, th- it's the one you're thinking of. I think, if I'm right. But I could be wrong. Um, the uh, Yeah, he drops the stapler, kind of like a la uh, Al Pacino dropping the gun in Godfather. Mm-hmm. I think that's what it was like, kind of an homage to. Which I meant to say, we got sidetracked with Breaking Bad. At the end of the last episode, when the like Christopher's getting poked at and they kill Brendan and she's singing... It was totally Godfather, the end of Godfather. Oh, like when they had the music and all that? They had the music, they're doing the baptism, and then everyone's getting killed at the same time. It mm-hmm. was the totally same kind of thing. It was pretty yeah. cool. Um, so the cop, um, well, Tony talks to Junior, and Junior's like, hey, next time you come in here, come heavy. They're, so they're, they're, they're fighting, basically. You don't mean that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And he meant it. Um, he came back heavy. And then the the detective pulls Melfi and, and her date over, and then he just beats the shit out of him. Yeah, so he keeps kicking him, and he yells a couple things at her, and then... You don't go after him because you have primary at home. <laughs> she goes, what? Yeah. yeah. So what are you talking about? Because that idiot thinks that Tony's dating her. Yeah. yeah. Because he can't tell him the truth. He's like, oh, no, this is my therapist. I just want to make sure I can trust her. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then he reports back to Tony and says basically that she doesn't have much of a yeah, I like, too, when he mentions that she goes to therapy. And she was like, oh, fuck. Much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she goes to therapy? So I'm fucking talking to someone who's already broken? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Tony meets with the other captains about, like, what's going to happen when Jackie dies, basically. And they're like, you're going to be in charge, and you should be in charge. And he's kind of trying to make one of them get in charge. And mm-hmm. 
They're eating the biggest fucking lobsters I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Jesus. They were ginormous. Yeah. Um, and then that's when, a- and then after that, AJ gets in the fight where he gets the fucking bloody nose, and the kid yeah. goes, no, it's a draw. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, it the me- pit after school. Yeah, and you're like, like, is Daenerys going to be there? Yeah. yeah. My, my name's Daenerys, Tomorrow Targaryen. Biggest thing in Atlanta. I was thinking that, like, the orange couch was going to be there. Oh, oh different like, pit. Like the wire. Yeah. The real throne. Right. Who won that throne? Bran? Um, it's kind of just rotates. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's kind of the same so, thing. It's a, revolving, it's a revolving door. There's no Night King in there, so... Stringer Bell had it for a while. But Omar Little could kind of be the Night King. Mm. Omar Little doesn't do this? And then, like, a bunch of dudes come up and, like, no. start doing Thriller? No. no. Hmm. Omar was, was whistle while he's walking after your ass. Yeah. Almost not like he's going to start singing to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Wish you'd watch The Wire, Jerome. After, after AJ gets in a fight, Tony's at the fucking, uh, what's it called? Nursery. Not baby nursery. Right. Plant nursery. nursery. Home? No. Oh, 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 yeah. Get, yeah okay, and he scares okay, the yeah. shit out of that one guy. So that, that's... Yeah, our kids should hang up. Blah, blah, and the guy sees the axe and he's like... Is that the kid that yeah. they got in a fight? That's not Yeah, good. that's his dad. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. That's I, I thought maybe it was. Yeah. I'm going, that's, that's why that guy's like... It yeah, did, did, uh... The juniors... I don't, even think, I don't even think they're close friends anymore. Yeah. And he's like, have you talked <laughs> to them? And he's like, no, no, but All we'll set it up. Because AJ doesn't talk to Tony, but apparently this kid talks to his dad. Yeah. Which is funny, because he asked him if he told his mom. He's like, no, I didn't tell my mom. What am I, a pussy? Yeah. You tell your dad, so I guess he kind of are pussy. Dad, his dad did not like, like the axe. You know, and, yeah, no, he's like, and who was Christ. and who was Tony talking to at the beginning of that scene? Uh, from Weeds. Yeah, what's his name? I Guillermo. There you uh, go. I Guillermo. I Guillermo. He's in. Uh, I recognize him obviously from Weeds, and then he's he's in Scandal too. He was Huck in Scandal. Yeah, I don't watch Scandal. Yeah, sorry. Hess is going to do his own podcast on Scandal. Oh. Did, Hess, did I tell you that I thought of the perfect podcast name for me and oh, you if we did our own geez. podcast? What is this? Tweedle we Dumb and Tweedle the thumb, yeah. the thumb. Like we have to get it approved or something? Well, no, I just thought like, me and you just did our own. No, I know. It's just funny but, the way you said it. You're like, if we ever get our own podcast. Oh. Like, <laughs> I just meant, like, we're, like we're, holding, <laughs> we're holding our breath, crossing our fingers. I meant That'd did. be great. I could be playing Apex right now. <laughs> but um, So the picture would be like from Tommy Boy, and it would be called Fat Guy, oh. Fat Guy in a Little Drome. There, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> That'd be perfect. You just need me to go. Ah! Yeah, but I thought, what would you fuckers talk about? It's me and him talking about whatever he wanted. We uh, should do it. Start it tomorrow. <laughs> Start right. it tomorrow. But yeah, cause then, I'll do cause the then, like, I'll do the song. If we if we went to his house every now Bad and then too. Like we could do it. Like jabron. or he can come over here sometimes too. We could do it like live yeah. and shit. You could Uber. I thought I, I thought the other day I was like, if me and Hess would get on some random. T- like I don't, I think we're on the way It'd to the movies. It'd be a lot of fucking beats. And I, and I it, was, it would be random ramblings worse times ten. Yeah, like it would just be too completely. Random. But I thought of it randomly. I was like, "What would mine Hess's podcast name be if we did one?" And then I was like, "Oh my god, fat guy in a little drone, perfect." Yeah, perfect. perfect. I think I should do it. And I'm gonna, Maybe we will. We're gonna do enough fucking shit around here. I think you should add another podcast. No yeah, but shit. It, it'd be a video you're not in, so you'd be great. It wouldn't even matter, you. Yeah, no, that, that's why I like. I'm 100 percent. When, when you guys do fourth down, I'm like, oh, thank God, it's a daily week. I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> I don't, he, he was redoing the site, and he's like, I guess I could just delete this fourth down territory. You guys don't do that anymore. <laughs> and I, I didn't quite say it like that. Yeah, I, you did. You literally said it. I like said, that. hey, should I delete fourth down territory because you guys don't I do go, that no, anymore? I go, no, we'll do it again when football starts back up. And, and I was like, like, oh, that's yeah. news. Oh, you will news to me. You guys didn't even do your last one. That's because it's always around Christmas it's, and New Year's, and we just get fucked yeah, up. It's it's hard. It's because I think you're. I don't know you're, about your dick. Quoting uh, Back to the Future, you're a slacker. You're a slacker. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's your response. Yeah. If mom was here, I'd have her pinch your cock. She's not. That almost sounds like we're brothers, and I'm threatening. That sounds weird. We're, you know. Yeah, so made wait, you want to hear? You want to hear? Do you want to hear what it's like to live with this motherfucker? Great. Let's hear it. So we go to the movies. Right? What did we go see okay. with Taylor? I don't remember. Aladdin. Aladdin. So, it was actually pretty good, too. Go check out our review. I don't know what I said to Taylor to tell Jerome, but it was probably something smart-assy. It, you, it's never something nice. Is everyone like, hey, Jerome, you're looking good today? Yeah, it wasn't. I can guarantee that. So, I said something, and she reached over and said something to him. And you know what she says back? Well, he says back to Taylor? No clue. Hey, pinch his cock. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. To my daughter. <laughs> well, because all the time, he, <laughs> he he says the most dumb shit to me all the time and like is a rude little cocksucker. So cock. his, his wife, my mom, will be there too. My so, mom. So I'll go over to her and go, hey, go pinch Nick's cock. And, she'll, and then she will. She'll be we'll talking to him and then just go, bam, and pinch his cock. And luckily, go, oh. luckily, she's not very sly, so you can see it coming a mile away. So like, I try right. to get ready for it. Sometimes, though, she'll, be, she'll be on the other end of the stick, and I'll tell him to pinch her pussy, and he never does it. No, wow. I don't want to hear it. But yeah, that's, that's what not it, worth it. That's what it's like. Yeah, she would give you so much more shit than yeah. he'd be like dropping a door on her toe. Oh, my God. <laughs> so she last week at work, I guess, think it was Thursday. They have giant bins where they keep all their shit. I guess they're metal right. bins. They call guess what they call them? Bins. Gay Gay lords. Lords. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> like I would have ever got yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know why they call it that. She doesn't even know why. I make fun of her every time. What I, if I would have got that right? Would you guys like <laughs> shit your pants? <laughs> yeah, probably. I call them Phil Negros, but that's a whole different joke. Jerome didn't get right. that. Um right. so she opened she one of the <laughs> yeah, she opened one of these, I guess, or she's in some confined space and was trying to do something and was trying to open one, and they're metal, and I guess the hinges were broke, so it fell on her big toe, and mm. she couldn't move. So now it looks like, well, first of all, her toe's like twice the size, and it's black and blue. Yeah. Did but it come off? Not yet. Yeah, but it's it, just like slowly rising off. It looks like someone ripped it off and then tried to glue it back on. That's just, a really good description. But of like yeah. kind of crooked, and then just, and she keeps like icing it, and she's taking she's like really soaking good care. it and all this other stuff. She's taking really good care of it, so you know it's gonna get all infected and shit. Yeah, cause, yeah, because she's like crazy about shit like that. But like, and she's always propping it up and shit. And I'm like, will you put your fucking toe away? It's so gross. You know what's funny though? She's doing all this stuff to it. I told her, I go, why don't you put peroxide on it? Because that'd be like the first thing I'd do. And she goes, no, I don't want to. Wow. Like, that would have been the first thing I did for that. I put peroxide, because it would just kill everything, and the toe would come off quick, or the toenail, not the whole toe. Come on, <laughs> quicker. And the fucking toe came off. <laughs> How did we get on that topic? Oh, I said pinch your cock. And then you said yeah. break your toe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so we're back, back to where we were. I have no idea where we were. Back again. Uh, we were talking about AJ's this. AJ's fight. Oh, yeah, AJ's fight. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Tony has another little little spell at home. He, like, oh, yeah, he kind of falls yeah. down. It's like after Carmel. he gets groceries and shit, he falls down a little bit. Yeah, and Carmel helps him up and says, are you still talking about the Milfy? So basically... It's funny that she thinks it's a guy. Yeah. And he just goes with it. Yeah, because if he oh, said yeah. it's a girl... I, I, I would have too. I mean, are you kidding me? I think she'd have been fine with him quitting if it was a girl. The problem is, if he would have just told her it was a girl in the first place, there wouldn't be any question. The, yeah. the right. fact that he's hiding it is making it an issue. Mm -hmm. right. You know? That's the thing. Yeah. And he obviously has feelings for her, or he wouldn't hide it. Well, I didn't even think about it that way, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's my opinion. Well, I think it was in this episode. It looked like he looked her up, you know, like... Uh... That was the dream. Oh, was it the dream? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I said in there, though, when we were watching it? Yeah, he did say this. I said if we put Nick in that same outfit, I could do the same, like, camera up move. It looked the exact same because his legs are that smooth. They would be. He has wow. no hair on his legs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In my mom's phone, his name is Hairless Bitch Legs. This is true. Wow. Yeah, that's a fun fact about Nick. Yeah. What come are you going to do? Come back next week for another fun it, fact. It, with what, I don't, it wasn't his choice to have Hairless Bitch Legs. Drum has more hair in his arms than I have on my legs. It's true. I know, but I'm just saying it wasn't your choice. You're not like, oh, please ma make me with no hair. And, and nor nor do I want hair on my legs. So At it works least out you beautifully. have eyebrows. Could you imagine if you didn't have eyebrows? Oh, can you, do you I shaved them once. Do you swim really fast? What am I, a fucking dolphin? Well, could you get no hair on your legs? Swimmers shave their legs. So they get like... You can go on. That's, what, that's why he shaves his head. He swims. He, he well, tells you he's going to work, but he's really going to swim. I mean, that's I, why he comes back so wet. I could. I don't know if I swim fast, but mm. I guess I would swim slower if I had hair on my legs. That's, uh, that's what swimmers say. How many swimmers do you know? That's just like the word around town. <laughs> word around town <laughs> with swimmers? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you know, there is a swim team at my school, and I would always ask, how is there a swim team here if there's no pool? And this lady had me... Had me like thinking this for a long ass time, couple of years that the pool was on top of the gym. Wow, <laughs> you're dumb. And you guys don't have a pool? No, there's no pool there. So I don't know why they, the swim team would have to go somewhere else to swim. Like to a pool? Well, obviously, there's yeah. a pool in my high school. There wasn't one in mine, unless it really was in the gym, and they were lying to me both times. 
Well, I guess they this were in, in, your, in your high school. They didn't have a pool. At yeah, Goldwater. Yeah, no pool there. Huh. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I had, I had a pool. I had a pool in my school. It where, was cool. Where'd you go? North Washington. 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 Yeah. George. Yeah, George Washington Lumpkus. Hmm. Is there any more notes? Yeah, we gotta kind of like get this train turning. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah turn. It, al- it always comes to this. You gotta, right. you gotta turn that I'm train. Five minutes. Left. I, g- I gave. I gave it more. It's it's at fifty four minutes right now. I usually tell him at like fifty. I give. No, some I, more. it's a cake. There's yeah. not much left. If you're, yeah, we we're, just we're watched the episode. Home. You can figure. That's out why I was. That's why I was. That's why. That's. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why I turned into Porky Pig. I would say you sound like Bobby Boucher from fucking uh, Waterboy. Not from. Just read Debbie your Desto. notes, <laughs> Dick Sucker. Dick Sucker. Uh, uh Peter North. Oh, he's what talking. I, oh, I was listening to. Uh, what was I listening to about that shit? I have no idea. I don't know. Yesterday, what were you listening to about porn? You're listening to two. Uh, Jap- was, was it was, two no, Japanese no, girls no. talking about sex? <laughs> I was listening to a podcast, and uh, yeah. I think Ross went outside. Ross, <laughs> we're almost done with the podcast. Give us a minute. All right, we're, you, the times you said it was going to go by fast, and now you're talking about you porn just... with Hess and Ross. Ross, <laughs> why'd you cry when you said it? He said. Um, all right. Uh, Gross. So Melfi gives Tony an idea to let the old. She's talking about his mom because she doesn't really know a junior situation. Oh, Ross is just coming let in her this just motherfucker. Let her appear. <laughs> wow. Just give me a minute, boy. Wow. Um, yeah, let him appear. Appear that in charge. She's in control. Yeah. 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 So then he takes her advice Which... re- and does the that exact thing with Junior. Yeah, and then they go to yep. what's his face's funeral. And right actually before that, that's when Christopher yells at him and he gets choked. Yeah, because Jackie dies. Why? Which there... fun fact about Jackie? I told you this. I forgot to mention it early on. That actor is in the Deuce, and he has multiple scenes with James Gandolfini's son. So I thought that huh. was I thought that was kind of cool that he's worked with the James Deuce. Gandolfini and his son. He was also up for Tony's role. Because that's kind of cool really? too. Yeah, like he was like second. That would be very different. Yeah, but that's kind of cool. Um, so he dies. And Jerome wants to keep track of how many times strippers stop stripping and o- like awkwardly and stop dancing because the music turns off. The one, I said that, the and one I also goes like this. Which are you allowed to do the station to the cross while you're naked? Sure. Is it this? That's not the station. I don't. I, don't know. I didn't. I don't know. I went to church like that. twice in my life, and not I didn't want to watch Orange County. It's not called that, but yeah, I don't know. You know. I mean, I know what it is, but whatever. Um, so then AJ has the fight after school, except. He receives forty dollars instead of fighting. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then doesn't know why. Yeah, not he's a bright good. boy. No, he's not. Um, I wonder if he's gonna work for his daddy someday. <laughs> I could answer that, but you don't want me to. Um, no, I don't. So after Jackie dies, Christopher comes in yelling and saying they're gonna need to go to war. Oh, because he got fucking. They took his corner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he fucking uh, was not too happy. About he tied that, that huh? guy up with his own yo-yo. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, what a yo-yo it was! Wow. Um, so then Tony Tony goes over to Junior and makes him boss. Yeah, um, and then they go to the funeral and they all talk and basically say Tony's in charge and that's not really going to happen. Yeah, and Tony got some shit out of it too. So not only did he make him the boss, he's but like, to hey. make him happy. He also got shit out of it. So really, it completely worked in his favor in every way. Yeah. And then, and Melfi, totally. and Melfi asked him if he's going to keep coming to therapy. And, <laughs> yeah, I get some good ideas. I get some here. good ideas here. So, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and then Metal prints out those papers for AJ. Uh, Tony winks at AJ at the funeral, and AJ doesn't wink back. Yeah, and that's it. Well, the podcast. That's all, folks. You guys want to end it out with a bang? Sure. <laughs> Nick's afraid to do what I want to do. Did you get pop guns? I don't know how it's this worse. is going to work out. It's going to be bad. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Check us on out on a- on Anchor <laughs> and iTunes, and we'll see you guys that next week. That room's gonna reek. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow. You know what would have been? You that, know what would have been even? You know what would have been? That burned my shorts to bits. You know what it would? It would have been even funnier is if it was like a stink bomb, and you didn't tell Nick. <laughs> oh. I bought it. Fuck that. <laughs> Oh, it smells like a fucking first, butthole. It smells terrible. What's funny is we tr- we tried a couple of these outside. We, we got a couple of other fireworks and we tried Sulfur. it. We tested it outside and just to make sure it wasn't gonna like blow up the table. And we started and it goes like, 
It would have blew up the table. Yeah. I, well, I thought it was like a firecracker at first. I'm going, holy fuck, what? Well, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. I'm a crazy motherfucking name Tony Soprano. <laughs>